This is the Leonardo AW119, an aircraft that established a new standard in the rotorcraft industry when it became the first single-engine helicopter in decades to fully meet current FAA IFR requirements. The AW119 is an ideal IFR entry point for those looking for the highest levels of safety and performance while retaining the economics of single-engine operations. The design was conceptualized in the late 90s as a derivative of the successful twin-engine AW109, a staple in Augusta Westland's lineup known for its performance and luxury, with the intention to create a single-engine variant that maintained many of the performance characteristics and the luxurious appeal of the AW109, but at a lower operational and maintenance cost. Augusta Westland officially introduced the AW119 to the market in 1999. It was certified by the Italian authorities in 1999 and by the FAA in the U.S. in 2000. The helicopter quickly gained popularity, appreciated for its blend of performance, flexibility, and cost effectiveness. Its large cabin, capable of accommodating up to seven passengers, and its high payload capacity made it an attractive option for a variety of operations. Over the years, the ABB-119 has seen several upgrades and iterations to enhance its capabilities and introduce new technologies. Recently, the AW-119KX variant was introduced, featuring an advanced avionics suite with the Garmin G1000H integrated flight deck. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Leonardo AW119. Stepping inside, the helicopter boasts a spacious interior that measures approximately 4.6 feet or 1.4 meters in width and 4.3 feet or 1.31 meters in height. The length of the cabin extends to about 7.5 feet or 2.29 meters, providing ample room for up to seven passengers, a notable capacity in its helicopter class. The cabin's layout is highly flexible, a crucial factor for operators looking to maximize their investment. Seats can be quickly reconfigured or removed thanks to quick change features that facilitate transitions between varied operational roles from passenger transport to cargo duties. The flooring is reinforced, designed to handle the substantial wear and tear associated with frequent changes in cabin configuration and the loading and unloading of cargo. In terms of passenger experience, the AW119 does not skimp on comfort. The seats are ergonomically designed to support longer journeys, upholstered with materials that strike a balance between durability and passenger comfort. Noise levels inside the cabin are noticeably lower compared to other helicopters in its class, a result of advanced acoustic dampening techniques and the helicopter's unique transition mission design, which isolates engine vibration from the cabin area. Visibility is another strong point. The cabin features large windows that not only allow natural light to enhance the internal ambience, but also provide passengers with expansive views of the surroundings, a much appreciated feature by both tourist sightseers and professional observers alike. For executive transport, the interior can be outfitted with high-end finishes, including polished wood, premium fabrics, and other luxury appointments that elevate the travel experience. Additional amenities can include climate control systems, enhanced in-flight entertainment options, and customized cabin lighting, all designed to create a more controlled and pleasant environment. On the technical front, the AW119 is equipped with a robust air conditioning system that efficiently manages cabin temperature. The helicopter also offers advanced communication systems that allow for seamless connectivity, ensuring that both operational crew and passengers remain in constant communication, whether for logistical coordination or business activities. Safety is addressed through its cabin design as well. The construction includes flame retardant materials and emergency egress points that are intelligently positioned to enhance survivability in the unlikely event of an emergency. Now, let's talk about the cockpit and avionics suite. The AW119 is spacious for a helicopter of its size, offering ample room for the pilot and co-pilot. The seating arrangement and the positioning of controls have been meticulously designed to provide ease of access and minimize pilot fatigue. Central to the avionics suite is the Garmin G1000H integrated flight deck system, a cornerstone of modern avionics suites that offers a seamless integration of flight information, navigation data, communication, and safety systems. The dual 10.4-inch LCD screens provide high-resolution displays of flight instrumentation, moving maps, navigation aids, 
and real-time weather updates. These displays are configurable and can be adjusted based on pilot preference or specific mission requirements. The G1000H system includes Synthetic Vision Technology SVT, which renders a three-dimensional depiction of terrain, obstacles, and traffic, significantly enhancing pilot situational awareness, especially in visually challenging environments. This feature is invaluable in avoiding ground and aerial hazards, contributing substantially to the safety margins of the aircraft. For communication, the AW119 is equipped with an integrated VHF radio system that ensures clear and reliable communication with ground control and other aircraft. The system's integration with the G1000H allows for streamlined handling of communications and navigational tasks, reducing pilot workload and enhancing overall efficiency in the cockpit. The helicopter also features an advanced HTRW, which provides audible and visual alerts to prevent terrain collisions. This system is crucial for low altitude operations, particularly in environments with uneven terrain or during poor visibility conditions. Additionally, the TCAS enhances in-flight safety by providing real-time traffic data, thereby preventing potential mid-air collisions. For navigational aids, the AW119 includes GPS with WAS capability, offering pilots high precision in positioning and navigation. This feature is particularly beneficial when flying under IFR, where accurate navigation is critical. The integration of electronic flight bag functionality further augments this by allowing pilots to access flight manuals, navigational charts, and other critical documents digitally, reducing the need for physical paperwork and streamlining cockpit management. On the topic of engine management, the AW119 is fitted with a sophisticated EKS, which continuously monitors engine performance and aircraft systems, alerting the crew to any anomalies or critical situations that may arise during flight. This system plays a pivotal role in preventive maintenance and troubleshooting, ensuring the helicopter operates within safe parameters. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Leonardo AW119 is powered by a single Pratt & Whitney PT 6B37A turbine engine with a TBO of 3,600 hours, producing 917 shaft horsepower. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,800 feet or 550 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 15,000 feet or 4,570 meters. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 152 knots, a maximum cruise speed of 132 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 80 gallons or 300 liters. And finally, the helicopter has a maximum range of 515 nautical miles, which is 600 miles or 960 kilometers, a maximum endurance of five hours and 20 minutes, and a useful load of 2,150 pounds or 975 kilograms. Now let's talk about the price and cost. The base purchase price for a new Leonardo AW119 is $3.1 million before options, but the price for a used model ranges between $1.5 million and $2.5 million, and the charter price is estimated at $2,000 to $3,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more, while the annual fixed cost is estimated at $200,000 to $300,000. The average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,000 to $1,500. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.